Okay. But he also has distance attacks, so you can't just run away from him, even though he punches hard. So as you can see, I'm starting out with a fourth health here and no spirit energy at all. And so there's no way to beat him right now. Um, I just have to avoid him until... See that? That's Yukina. That's, um... Once she appears, you can theoretically use a move called Power of Love that will use your spirit energy to power up your health bar. But I failed. When I used it, he kicked me at the same time and it canceled it out or some glitch like that. So I could have to fight the match again. But that's theoretically what you do. Now, the reason for this is in the show, that's pretty much what happened. Oh yeah, see what I backed up and he did an earthquake move that killed me instantly. So... Anywho, um, in the show, he goes up to fight Risho, and every, like, he's not just weak, but, um, obviously they can't portray this in the game. Every step he takes, he's like, oh, my kidneys, oh, my stomach, you know, he's, like, dying. And Risho just messes with him, because he knows he can't beat him. But he, Kuobara won't stay down. He refuses to, um, you know, lose, even though he's pretty much dead, until, uh... Yukina shows up. And Yukina is the is the girl I mentioned this in a previous Let's Play that he's in love with, the TA sister. And he sees her, and Risho says something bad about her. Or so there we go. See, power of love worked that time. Now I have a full health bar and ready to kick some ass. And even though I hate fighting school bar, I do think I win this match. Yeah, I do. But just by going balls out crazy. And so. <laughs> Risho says something, he's like, what's that girl doing here, or whatever, and he's like, why are you getting distracted, fight me, and he's like, don't you talk about my woman that way, and pounds Risho into the ground. I think he uses his own weight against him. Risho, is, by this point, is wearing, which you see him wearing here, this earth armor stuff, and he's hurling himself at Kuwabara like a rocket, he's, um, kind of burning, he's got a burning up in the atmosphere thing going on, where he's pushing up against Kuwabara so fast there's a friction of, like, fire. And Kuwabara hurls him, uses his own velocity against him, and to the, the side of the, the arena, and he just plows through, like, several bleachers and knocks himself out. So that's how he won that match, and then Kuwabara has to be healed, because now he's, like, beaten within a centimeter of his life, rather than an inch. And so, yeah, that was the Team Masha round. Maybe I'll talk about it a little more in the next uh, thing. But it was a great part of the show, as opposed to the awful Dr. Ichigaki episodes. And um, pretty fun pretty fun to play, too, although friggin' Gama took me so long to beat. I'll stop rambling now, and thank you so much for watching, and sayonara, bye-bye.